Mints, and welcome to Automated Visual Testing with Selenium Base, a very powerful web automation framework that you can find on GitHub. To get started, just go to the GitHub page and follow all the instructions that you see there. Let's run a quick example test to help you get started called MyFirstTest.py. So you'll be running that with PyTest. So PyTest MyFirstTest.py from the examples folder. And if everything is installed and working correctly, it should spin up a browser, navigate to a web page, uh, click some buttons, type in some text, and verify that elements are properly appearing on a web page. Now, that's the base case of Selenium Base. However, uh, there are a lot more powerful features within it. So next, we'll be exploring automated visual testing. To do that, just go to the Examples Visual Testing folder and you'll find a really powerful README with all the instructions that you need to help you get started. Now, there are other companies out there that do automated visual testing. The difference with Selenium Base is that we think we can do the exact same thing but with free open source tools. So automated visual testing basically helps you to detect when the layout of a web page has changed. And rather than comparing screenshots, you're going to compare layout differences by comparing the HTML tags and attributes with a version of a web page relative to a previous version of a web page. So here's how automated visual testing with Selenium Base works. When you set a baseline, it's going to uh, create a bunch of files that basically store all the HTML tags, attributes and values in them so that you can use those later to see if something broke. Now if a test fails it could mean that the website was redesigned or there might have been a real failure or there is dynamic content on the web page such as a page ad that basically changed and therefore the test fails because it thinks something went wrong when really just you had something else there. So. To demonstrate how this works, we're going to run uh, three simple tests that are all located in the uh, test layout fail uh, file. So the three tests that we're going to run is the Apple Tools test where we click a button that's going to make a hidden element become visible. Uh, we're also going to run a test on the python.org website where we uh, remove a button and then uh, make the layout comparison. And we're also going to run uh, a test on XKCD where we've modified the attributes of the logo dimensions so that we've changed the height and the width of it. So let's get started. To do that, we'll be running PyTest. Uh, actually, let's go into the visual testing folder. Okay, now we'll do PyTest, test layout fail, and then we're going to do a HTML report with it. So dash dash HTML equals report.html so now we're going to run this and you're going to see it will spin up the first website click a button you'll see that the website changed because an image appeared uh, we're going to do another test where we go to we're going to go to python.org and then we're going to remove this donate button that appears there and uh, then uh, take the uh, again the visual layout of that before and after and again we're going to go to xkc.com change the logo dimensions and make sure that the layout test fails there so as you can see here we have the test results so if we go to our first test Apple tools which is technically a competitor because they offer a visual testing tool that costs money you'll see that uh, in the exception you will have a hidden element and then that was no longer there when the change was made. So that became visible. And you'll see that in the exception, uh, the visual diff failure HTML tag attribute values don't match the baseline. Also with uh, the python.org page, the donate button that we removed was no longer there. And therefore, in the previous version that was removed, and you can see the minus, meaning that hey, we noticed the change and the visual uh, layout level 3 failure was present. And same with the XKCD website where we changed the logo dimensions and you can see here the height 
was different from the height we changed it to, and the width was different from the width that we changed it to. You can see this more clearly if you open the report.html file, which basically shows the stack trace followed by the screenshot that it took where something was different. So you can see here, okay, clearly there was a section that was hidden and it was no longer hidden. And here you have in the website, here's the big thumbs up. But if you go to the original URL where we took the screenshot, there was no thumbs up, meaning that the layout changed. In the next example, using the uh, python.org website, uh, we removed the donation button. And you can see there's no donate button here, but if you go back to the original website, you'll see that there is in fact a donate button right there. And you'll see in the stack trace there, hey, it detected that there was a change. The donate button was there. It was not there afterward. And therefore, uh, the level three failure happened. Same with the XKCD website, where we did a visual layout test. We changed the sizing of the logo, and here's the new sizing, where the screenshot was taken. But the original sizing is basically, okay, it's nice and horizontal, different. So you can see all these changes that were made, and therefore you have um, the assertion errors. Hey, the height width changed here, the donate button was removed, and an element appeared that wasn't there on the original. So whenever you run a baseline for visual layout testing, uh, let's go into the examples folder, visual testing, and let's go into visual baseline, which is a folder that's created. For instance, if we go into the um, Python home test, you'll see that all the things that are created when you create your baseline. So you'll get a page URL that basically verifies that you're on the right page. You'll get a screenshot of the original so that you can basically say like how the original looked so that when you look at your re report screenshot, you'll see what differences there are. You'll also get tags level one, uh, tags level two, and tags level three. So in tags level one, which is essentially a level one comparison, you have all the HTML tags on a web page. And that is uh, created when you first create the baseline. When you run the check window method, it's going to compare the latest version of the tags to what was in the baseline. And if something's different, you'll have a level one failure. With level two, it is HTML tags and attribute names. So here you'll see that there's like a class and there's an ID. An even more advanced uh, check is level three where basically it'll compare all the HTML tags, the attributes, and the attribute values to from the baseline to the latest version of the page. And with a regular Python list comparison, if something changes, well, then you'll get the assertion failure. And you'll see here, OK, uh, something that was hidden was visible in the new edition. Here, a button was removed, and you got that. And here, the dimensions of the logo changed, and all these were found. So that's automated visual testing with Selenium Base. Pretty much uh, creating a baseline, comparing the baseline to the latest version, and then seeing if there are any differences. And also, if you're not familiar with Selenium Base, it's just from Selenium Base import base case. And now you can quickly open up a URL and run, like, say, the check window method which essentially, uh, the first time you run it, you'll create the baseline. If you, you can specify baseline equals true, or if you don't specify that, it'll use the version that was created in a previous version of a test. Also on the command line, if you run with uh, a test with, um, for instance, dash dash visual dash baseline, I won't run it now, but essentially if you do that, it's going to uh, recreate the baseline again, even if it was already there. So that's how you can reset the baseline, also by deleting the folder that you saw up here. If you delete this entire uh, folder in the visual baseline directory, 
that'll also reset the baseline when you rerun the test again and it'll recreate the baseline unless you specify baseline equals true. So there are a few ways, as you see here, of resetting the baseline and then you can run, say, the check window method to compare the latest edition or the latest version of the website with the baseline you created previously. So that is automated visual testing, open source edition. Uh, we know there are competitors out there that also offer this, but we think that our version that is totally free and open source on GitHub is more than enough to handle all the visual layout differences for automated visual testing that you can think of. And if you ever want to get back to this readme to uh, hear all these instructions again, just go to Selenium Base Examples Visual Testing. You'll see a folder with a bunch of examples that you can run, followed by this really nice long readme that basically goes into everything in detail. And in case I missed anything just now, just go through, read it. You can see the examples. You can see the differences that are created with automated visual testing. And uh, automated visual testing is just one really powerful thing you can add to your existing automated tests. And if you're not familiar with Selenium Base, well, you should check it out because it's really powerful. It's Selenium, it's PyTest, it's everything combined, and it's really powerful for web automation. And as you can see in this GIF from the uh, website here, uh, you can do any type of website testing, log into a website, add items to a shopping cart, check out, verify that all the elements are appearing as they should. And of course, uh, there's demo mode, as you see here, where it will even show you as you run the test what the test is verifying. So really powerful stuff. And again, if you uh, need help getting started with Selenium Base, the uh, README on the GitHub page basically walks you through all the instructions you need, such as setting up your web drivers, like Selenium Base install Chrome driver, uh, running a test, uh, basically a lot of different methods that you can use inside your test, uh, run commands, and a bunch of features, and just a ton of examples to help you get started. And of course, the most powerful thing, the command line options where you can like set the browser, run in mobile, ver uh, mobile mode, and all that. So uh, thanks for uh, listening to Automated Visual Testing with Selenium Base, and have a really great day. All right, bye-bye.